this is Summer with Goodnight Geckos. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a enclosure for your wolf spider and we're also going to be rehousing that wolf spider as well. I'm going to add some substrate. It's just our special blend of stuff. <laughs> so what we're going to do is add some of that. In all honesty, I probably shouldn't have added so much, you know, water to the substrate, but you really don't want to soak it down. I'm just trying to, you know, get it established. I'm going to pack it down. We're going to add some hardscape or you know, decor, as you would say. I'm gonna spray it down again. So I just got a couple small pieces of cork bark and I just stuck them in the substrate there. But I hope you are enjoying the video so far. Thanks to whoever has clicked on the video. Really appreciate it. Let me know if you would like me to do another video on my crested geckos down in the comment section below. Last weekend, we ended up going to a reptile expo. We go pretty often. I was able to find some frog moss there. So it comes into like, it comes in a little box and you have to water it down and they'll come back to life once it's in the right living conditions. So that's what I'm doing right here. The next step is rehousing right after this. Obviously, if you have a spider that is super small and delicate, you really, really, really want to be super gentle. So what I've done is used a, you know, a paintbrush. So you wanna gently scoop them up with a paintbrush. Just don't push too hard. Um, and obviously you can watch other people's videos as well, which I recommend you doing so because you want to learn as much as you can from different resources. Not just one, but multiple resources. I do want to make a disclaimer. Please do your own research. If you are going to get into, you know, invertebrates such as tarantulas, wolf spiders, jumping spiders, um, please don't use me as a main resource. Just want to throw that out there. Mm -hmm. 